In today's video I'm gonna tell you in the detail why you need to practice something called intermittent fasting. That is best way for weight loss uh, with any kind of side effects but practicing intermittent fasting you gonna help yourself in many other ways. In today's video you learn a lot about intermittent fasting, how can help you lose weight in natural and safe way, also what are the health benefits of regularly practicing something called intermittent fasting. Weight loss with intermittent fasting. First of all, I want to tell you that I've been researching different diets and their effects on the health for the long time. I believe that there is nothing better for improving health than regular fasting. Personally, I have practiced regular fasting for many years and I have never felt better. I've been working with patients for 25 years and countless times I have convinced myself of the effectiveness of fasting in the people who start practicing in my own recommendation and significantly improve their health. Fasting as a diet that has been practiced for thousands of years brings numerous health benefits. However, despite its history, fasting has almost disappeared from our daily lives in the recent decades. Instead, the industrialization of food and aggressive marketing campaigns aimed at the consumption of more meals a day led to spread of unhealthy habits. As a result, we are facing increased various of diseases related to the poor lifestyle and the diet. Unfortunately, we are getting sicker and sicker each day. Right now in 2024, as they are uh, researched for the decades uh, before, they were never been sicker and more diseased people right now. That's why we need start practicing something called intermittent fasting because that can help us in many aspects of our lives. In the second half of 20th century, the food industry began to transform the way we eat. Instead of traditional three meals a day, we have become exposed to constant stimulation by food advertisement and fast food offers. Marketing campaigns encourage us to eat as many meals a day as possible to consume very bad food that significantly dam damage our health. Therefore, I will ask you to take some time and look what you eat every day and why most of the time you eat food that is worse than your health. I'm sure you will come to interesting conclusion. Unfortunately, right now, more than ever, we are bombarded with the media, with the uh, uh, advertisements of many aspects in our life, on our internet, TV or whatever. And that is why we are eating so unhealthy each day, because industry uh, makes an unbelievable amount of money uh, on uh, our health. And that's why we need to reverse all this thinking about why we eat, how we eat and uh, what are the food that we eat in each day. It's important to emphasize that in the last 30 to 40 years the number of obese people had increased significantly, as well as the fact that today most of die of the heart diseases, brain diseases and various type tumors. 50 or 60 years ago, those diseases were not nearly as dangerous, but today they are gone the greatest threat. Diabetes, high blood pressure, excessive body weight, excessive consumption of drugs most often lead us to the heart attack, stroke, dementia and some form of cancer. And all starts with uh, what to eat in our diet. And you really need to educate yourself. Why are you so sick? Why so many people die from the stroke, from the heart attack, diabetes, high blood pressure or some kind of form of the cancer that are the most common causes why uh, we are sick and why we are dying. Fasting give as uh, the body opportunity to recover and regeneration and protect is from various diseases. In addition, it is necessary to reduce the consumption of fast and unhealthy food and to promote awareness of importance and balanced diet and the healthy lifestyle. Education about healthy eating and the importance of the fasting should be available for everyone in order to create healthier future for ourselves and our offspring. 
Fasting is an incredibly simple and effective tool that can positively affect on our health and longevity. And I think it's time for as many people around the world to know this information. However, intermittent fasting is not new. It's been utilized for the century during the food shortages and essential for many religions. Our body works best when we eat one to two meals a day. That's why our ancestors, they are not eating and not eating enough for the long period of time. People before 100, 500,000 years ago, if they eat one meal a day, they will be happy, you know? And that is why we need to uh, uh, educate ourselves, especially on the genetic form in our body. Our body best works when we eat one to two meal a day. How does intermittent fasting work? Intermittent fasting improves health in the two ways. According to considerable studies, first intermittent fasting reduced cell oxidative stress. Second fasting increased cellular stress management. It stimulates your body to stress response by activating cellular stress response pathways like mild stressors. Your body becomes stronger against cellular stress and less prone to cellular aging and disease when it's happened. That is why we really need to think about it uh, when we are fasting for the longer period of time, for 16, 18, 20 hours and more, our body is going to stage when defends ourselves in a much efficient way. That is why it's very important to start practicing something called intermittent fasting. Also, one other of most important benefits of intermittent fasting is the improvement of the brain and the nervous system. During fasting, the body uses ketones as energy, which improves cognitive function and concentration. This is especially important because we are witnessing an increased number of people suffering from the brain diseases, dementia, brain fog, lack of concentration, ability to remember and the focus. If it is with this kind of diseases and alignments for fasting can significantly help us. Controlling blood sugar levels is the key to preventing type 2 diabetes and other metabolic disorders. Intermittent fasting helps maintain stable blood glucose level, which reduces the risk of developing diabetes and regulate appetite. Improving insulin sensitivity is also as important aspect of intermittent fasting. Insulin is a hormone that allows cell to glucose from the blood for the energy. If the body becomes resistant to insulin, it can lead us to high blood sugar levels and development of diabetes. Diabetes, also high uh, blood pressure, is to one of the worst diseases of modern world. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, million people all around the world suffering from those diseases. This is like one step closer to the stroke and the heart attack. Intermittent fasting in these specific cases can help you a lot. That is why it's so important for you to practice fasting each day. Intermittent fasting can improve insulin sensitivity, which helps regulate blood sugar levels. Metabolism is essential for maintaining health, weight and energy. Intermittent fasting stimulates metabolism and the fat burning which help maintain the healthy body mass and increase energy level for daily activities. Prevention of heart attack and the stroke is the one of the most important benefits of intermittent fasting. Reducing bad cholesterol and preventing formation of the blood clots is essential for the health of the heart and the blood vessel. Intermittent fasting can improve blood lipid composition and reduce risk of the heart disease, what is unbelievably important. In today's modern world, heart attack and the stroke are the two most common killer. Uh, intermittent uh, fasting also can help you with that in natural way. Everything about this is very well scientifically researched. I see it in many of my patients. I practice uh, intermittent fasting regularly. It's unbelievably healthy. Also, another important benefit of intermittent fasting is the prevention of dementia. There is more and more uh, result, uh, research that shows that intermittent fasting can improve cognitive function and reduce risk of developing dementia in old age and therefore slow down aging of the body and extend lifespan.
Reducing inflammation in the body is another important aspect of intermittent fasting. Chronic inflammation is linked to many diseases, including heart diseases, diabetes, arthritis and the cancer. Intermittent fasting can reduce inflammatory processes in the body and promote health. Cancer prevention is also a significant benefit of intermittent fasting, you will not believe it. Every, uh, I believe uh, most of uh, modern diseases that causes so much suffering, so much pain, we can reduce the risk to the minimum just regularly practicing intermittent fasting. What else intermittent fasting can do for your health? Studies show that uh, fasting reduces risk of development also some type of cancer, especially breast, colon and the prostate cancer. Practicing intermittent fasting reduces the intake of the glucose, also sugar. Many tumors in the body feed on the glucose that we eat. While fasting, the body uses body glucose stores, which means that tumors do not have enough food to grow and reproduce. In addition, intermittent uh, fasting reduces the potential inflammation that builds up around tumor masses, which can reduce the rate at which they spread and the grow. Liver and the kidney function is essential for preserving the health of the whole organism. Intermittent fasting can help cleanse the liver and the kidney, improving the functions of the reducing strain of those vital organs. Also, when you practice in regularly something called intermittent fasting, you will lose weight in a natural way. Usually, in the most cases, if you lose weight around maybe one kilo of uh, fat each uh, week, maybe three to four kilos in a month, it will be so easier with intermittent fasting. When, when you go to the stages that your body weight is normal, you just practice an intermittent uh, fasting for the whole life, regular your body mass, also regularly uh, practicing intermittent fasting is so unbelievably healthy for your uh, gut and especially for the prevention of like bloating or any other problems with the stomach like stomach ulcers reflux uh, gastritis and many uh, similar kind of condition also uh, for improving a question uh, often rises in the world healthy eating and weight loss why do diets never succeed this, despite many popular diets that promise quick results most people quickly realize that instability and failure especially in the long run there are several reasons why diets don't work and bring lasting results and some of them are follows restrictiveness most diets are based on banning certain food or certain group of foods. This is often lead to feeling of frustration and deprivation, which can result in overeating and uh, giving up back on diet. Lack of individual approach. Each person has unique nutritional needs and the goals. General diets often do not take into account individual characteristics and preferences, which make them less effective right now from the start poor knowledge about nutrition people often follow a, a child with basic understanding of their body nutritional needs lack of education can lead us on the wrong food choices and lack of important nutrients that is also unbelievably important this is something in the short about why you need to practice an intermittent fasting for the weight loss uh, intermittent fasting has many other health benefits. This is an uh, unbelievably healthy diet. And when we think about it, how you can practice intermittent fasting. As I mentioned before, intermittent fasting has several choices to accommodate any schedule or a lifestyle. Experiment to find a perfect one for your needs. Every style of intermittent fasting entails skip meals, usually breakfast, but each has various rules. The intermittent fasting 16-8 time restricted eating approach is best for the beginners. This usually involves skipping dinner, snacks and the breakfast the next day, without eating between 8 pm and 12 pm. The next day you'll be fasting 16 hours, start with the 13-14 hours of the fast, 
E69 seems to long. As your body adjusts for the longer fast, Ultra 168 approach is safe for the most people. Prolonged facts for uh, 24 to 72 hours may not be. Don't push yourself too hard. And then initially becomes your body needs the time to adjust to fasting. That's why I recommend you fast for the first couple of weeks, 60 uh, days, uh, 16 hours in 24 hours period. And after you accommodate yourself, you can uh, make this prolonged fasting. If you prolong fast, your body will be in ever better position. And that's why I'm gonna recommend you practicing intermittent fasting, what is what which is best diet in the world. So I want to recommend you my book that is called Intermittent Fasting: The Secret of Health and Longevity. It's officially on sale in Croatian, English, German, and Polish. You can buy the book immediately via mariolab.hr website. Why you should have this book? First of all, you will learn how to properly practice intermittent fasting, which is the most powerful tool for preserving your health. My book will teach you how to protect yourself from the cancer, prevent heart attack and the stroke, dementia, lose weight naturally, preserve joint health and much, much more in perfectly natural way. Don't miss this unique opportunity to learn how intermittent fasting can improve your health and extend your lifespan. If you want to learn a lot more about intermittent fasting, watch my video right here. Thank you for following me. God bless you. God bless your family. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.